by moving her away from the friends, you don't have to deal with all this shit from the other friends that might mistakenly see you as just another low value guy, which is you know, what they're used to approaching their friend. What's up guys, John Anthony here from John Anthony Lifestyle. Today we're gonna to talk about the power of isolation. Okay, this is a cold approach technique in which you are bringing a girl away from her friends and it allows you to be one-on-one -on -one and escalate uh, in an easier way, get more compliance when you're doing escalation and a whole bunch of other benefits which we're going to cover in this video. But before we continue, if you're not yet a subscriber, please subscribe below, press the notification bell for new videos every single day. This channel offers straightforward, no bullshit, practical dating advice that is extremely straightforward and easy to assimilate. Okay, coming from a top expert who's been with over a thousand girls and lived all around the world and, and done the game everywhere, okay? Also, if you want to master this area of your life extremely quickly, okay, we have most guys on on our eight week program, closing one to two new girls per week, and also putting about one new rotation girl on per week. Okay, you can jump on a free 30 minute call uh, with either me or one of my coaches, and we will walk you through how we can take you from a customized, in a customized game plan way, wherever you are at, wherever you're having weaknesses, and whatever your goals are, whether that be to sleep with a whole lot of extra girls, or to build up a rotation, or to get your full package girlfriend, we'll outline a plan customized for your situation, how to make you advanced or elite in as little as eight weeks, okay? Actually much quicker. Most guys are, are starting to get five to 10 dates a week by week two out of the eight weeks, and they're starting to close one to two new girls a week by week two, okay? But uh, this is meant to be a permanent final solution, et cetera, et cetera. So here we go, isolation. So the whole idea, as I said in the beginning, is you are going to approach a group of girls, typically at a nightclub or a bar, and the girl that you want is referred to in old school game terminology as the target. So you're gonna approach the target, okay? Old school mystery method says you approach the whole group and you ignore the target, this and that. I disagree with that. It's more effective to just go in and talk to the girl that you want. And then you want to isolate her away from the group. I advocate that my clients typically isolate within the first two to three minutes of the interaction. And the purpose of doing that is multifold. okay? So here's the advantages of isolation. Number one, it's going to build a bubble. What that means is that the environment is changing, but the two of you are remaining constant, and therefore it creates the illusion that, that you guys are spending more time together, okay? So as you're walking through the club, and you go off to another area of the club, or the, or the bar, or whatever, uh, up to the bar away from her friends, now she's gone with you through the environment, and it seems like more time has passed, and it's like this one-on-one, -on -one more intensified connection, okay? Advantage number two is it's building compliance momentum. Okay, all my game is centered around compliance. I took that from Mystery, who also took it from Operant Conditioning in Classical Psychology, B.F. Skinner. And basically, you're just assuming compliance in my model. When you hit non-compliance or an objection and it diverges, I show you how to optimally deal with that objection or non-compliance and move it forward again. It's similar to Jordan Belfort's straight line persuasion system. So when you move a girl in isolation, now she has complied, she's gone along with what you wanted to do, and now it's easier for her to comply with the next thing. Okay, that's what it means by the momentum. She's now complied with one thing, it's easier to comply with the next. So now when you go to isolate or escalate, as I'll get into in point number three, that is going to be a lot easier and more compliant because she's already complied with you to move in the first place, okay? So point number three is doing the isolation sets up escalation, both physicality, okay, and also verbal sexualization. She's gonna be more receptive to this sexualizing of the conversation, okay? So after you isolate to the bar, that's where you're going to ramp up physical escalation, okay, physicality, and that's where you're going to ramp up verbal sexualization, where you're making sexual innuendos and setting down a sexual frame. Okay, now the fourth advantage is you are moving her away from cock blocks, from the cock block friends, okay? The friends are gonna potentially go into protector mode or they're gonna say stuff to you like, hey, we're lesbians, hey, it's just a girl's night, hey, she's with us, blah, 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 right? So by moving her away from the friends, you don't have to deal with all this shit from the other friends that might mistakenly see you as just another low value guy, which is, you know, what they're used to approaching their friend, okay? Typically, uh, a pretty girl in a group is going to be approached by lots of low value nice guys, okay, the classical nice guys. And as Mystery notes, the, the hot pretty girls can't entertain an endless stream of nice guy approaches. So if you're trying to run the whole interaction within her group, 
any girl that's part of her group that you have not won over yet is going to potentially interfere or just come in and default cock block you, okay? Or she might not like you for whatever reason. Instead of dealing with those situations and, and potentially losing the girl, you move her away and you have her one-on-one -on -one in isolation, okay? Another advantage is you are going to, she's gonna have less reservations to being physical with you and to making out with you because she's not going to be slut shamed by her friends. If you were trying to get her to make out and be all up on you right in front of her friends, she could potentially be hesitant or not want to go along with that because her friends are watching her. And the narrative goes with slut shaming, anti slut defense, an old school classical game terminology, the narrative goes that she doesn't want to look slutty uh, to you, she doesn't want to look slutty to herself, she doesn't want her friends to judge her and see her as being slutty. Etc. Okay, so when you have her one on one, now the friends aren't there to judge her, and therefore it's easier for her to escalate and be physical with you. Okay, another advantage, see, there's so many different advantages here, that's why isolation is very critical. Okay, but another advantage is when it, you go to pull, when you go to take the girl home, you're not going to have to get permission of all the friends typically. Okay, because the friends are going to be, remember, in that, that group of where they were before. So now you have her one on one, you're being physical, you're making out, you deal with her objections to come home with you. Remember, I've identified 14 major objections that come up when you try to take a girl home from a cold approach situation, and I've identified the optimal responses to each. And if you want to learn all of those, click the link in the description, jump on a free 30 minute call. We'll train you on all those so that you're prepared in advance. It's also in my Occam's Razor product. The link for that is in the description as well, where it says my, my complete system. So when you've answered the objections and you're going to pull her home, she doesn't need to go get permission from her friends because the friends are not there, okay? So you can say something like, oh, don't worry, we'll just text your friends the address, or don't worry, your friends won't even notice you're gone if you're trying to do a poll and come back. Hey, drinks are expensive, let's go grab a couple of shots and come back. You can say that, and she doesn't need to go verify with the friends because you're like, oh, they won't even notice you're gone. Okay, we're already in a different part where they can't even see you anyways. Let's just go for a little bit and we'll come right back, or we'll text on the address, okay? So those are all very important reasons why you want to do the isolation. When I formally teach night game, I tell guys to try to isolate within the first two to three minutes, okay? It happens very quick. And a lot of guys aren't accustomed to that and they're not comfortable doing that. They think that it's too soon typically uh, to be trying to move the girl to another part of the venue, especially when you haven't talked very much and the compliance level is very low. However, it's much easier than you would think, okay? I remember on one boot camp, one live boot camp training, I had a student that said, I don't believe it's possible to move a girl that quickly. I said, okay, I'm gonna have you pick out 10 different girls, like separately, like one by one. I'm gonna go in and right after the opener, I'm gonna try to isolate, okay? And you're almost always gonna get hit with an objection. It's very rare that you're gonna try to isolate and they're gonna be like, yeah, let's go. They're typically gonna say they can't leave their friends, okay? Or, or, or why, why do you want me to go with you or whatever. So, but you can deal with those things, okay? And, and I ended up, so I, I'm like, pick a girl, tell me where you want her isolated to, show me where you want me to move her in the club, and I'll do it on all of them, okay? And I think it was like eight or nine out of 10 complied, okay? But almost all of them gave objections and sometimes for you know, multiple objections in a row. So I walk up, hey, what's up, I'm John, I want to meet you real quick, what's your name, blah, blah. Oh, hey, what's up, come, like, come over, let's go over that bar really quick, I want you to meet one of my friends. Oh, we're fine here, like, I can't meet my friends. Well, it's just right over there, we'll just, I'll bring you right back, like, it'll be cool, come on, let's go. Or if the, the friends that she's with object, oh, I'll bring her right up, you can see us, we're gonna be right over there, I'll, be, I'll bring her back in like five minutes, we're just gonna be right over there, right? So, and then you, you answer objections and you lead her, take her by the hand, you go over to that other section of the bar, okay? If you don't, I, okay, so I, I typically, another consideration is I typically advocate that you isolate to a bar in the venue, okay, to then post up against the bar with your back to the bar and now you're running the interaction like that and she's up close on you. But a lot of guys aren't comfortable with the fact that okay, now they need to order the girl a drink or it's like expected to order the girl a drink. I've talked about in other videos how you should break the mindset of thinking, oh, I, I can't on principle ever buy a girl a drink because I'm a provider if, if I do that. Okay, that's bullshit. Uh, I've been with 1,356 girls, other advanced guys that I know that have been with multiple hundreds. We all buy girls drinks. Okay, that's, if, you, I, if you're in a fucking nightclub and you take a girl to the bar, it's okay to buy her a drink. It's okay to pay for a girl's drinks when you're on a date. It's okay to pay for a girl's coffee when you're on a date. This rule of like, I can never buy a girl a drink or a coffee or, or anything, a dinner, is bullshit, okay? That doesn't mean you should be, you know, 
oh, what can I do and buy for these girls? It's not like that. It's just expected in a nightclub if you take a girl to a bar, okay? So you can say, hey, let's go over the bar real quick. Let's do a shot, whatever. Take her there. Then yes, you are getting her a drink. That's typically what's expected. However, you don't, that doesn't need to be part of your isolation strategy. You can say, hey, I want you to meet one of my friends over there and just bring her to a random part of the venue. And then when you get there, oh, I'm not sure where they went. Anyways, and you just continue the conversation from there. You, you actually don't really want to run into your friends because then you need to have like this whole group conversation, <clears throat> which is going to potentially be platonic or at the very least, is going to distract her from you building up a vibe and being physical and sexual. So uh, those are the major considerations with isolation. If you're watching this and you're not doing isolations, that is a stepping stone on the way to pulling. It's a stepping stone on the way to being physical. It's a stepping stone on the way to getting her number. So as an exercise, try to, in your next night game session out, try to approach and isolate the girl in the first two to three minutes. Okay, if, you're, if it seems too soon for you, try to do it within the first five minutes. But you wanna do it relatively quickly because remember, the longer you run the interaction in front of all the friends, the more kind of opportunity cost you're wasting. She's not gonna be as receptive to sexual innuendos or physicality in general because the friends are there judging her. The friends are also there to cock block or shut down the situation or drag her away at any moment. So you're battling against that as well. Okay, so I hope that was very useful. If you want to learn my entire game plan and system A to Z, jump on a free 30 minute call, speak to either me or one of my coaches. We'll walk you through how we can get you to a very advanced level very quickly. And if you're not yet a subscriber, please subscribe below and press the notification bell for new videos every day. Okay, let's keep the channel moving. We're about to hit 21K subs. Like, comment, and share below if you found value. The more likes, comments, and shares you give on each video, the more it helps the algorithm. So I greatly appreciate that, guys. And I will see you all on the next video. I'm John Anthony. Take care. Some do it for the income, but we do it for the outcome. Some of us are active while others just let their mouth run. No doubt, son, this is not just about fun. We will not be outdone by these cowards who shout scum.